so let me show one interview program and the strings string interview program see this is the one string a equal to abc string b equal to abc string c equal to new string abc so if a double equal to b and a dot equals c now what is the output can you tell me here a double equal to b so what is the output you will get a true or false here true true sir a dot equals equals method also returns to you true or false only now a value what is the a value here a b c a b c so what is the c value a b c true so you will get a true true and true true the output you will get a true so that true. will execute they are equal so let's see this is the kind of proof this is one of the interview question recent life is that's why i have noted down here for you guys see they are equal so this is how the kind of you know uh, questions they will ask what is the output of this so they will give the code and ask you uh, so you need to select the alphabetical you know multiple choice questions so this is the kind of coding they will give and you need to choose the answer below but uh, thing is you no know, you have to calculate internally this all these things they won't give any idea also they won't give any you know tool to practice also you cannot uh, shift the tab also so that's why all you are strong on the concepts only then you can do all these kind of programs okay so this is the one of the very important program so i see many times this question on this areas only so the string literal and the string uh, with new keyword object creation there will be a lot of you no know, programs and you no know, questions on this area only okay and please focus on that and also i have given in our blog also a lot of you know the, the this this kind of questions same this area a lot of questions you will get okay please understand concept if you understand you can answer anything if you don't understand memory area you cannot answer all these questions it's not easy the concept is very important here so then easily you can answer okay so let's go and target now the even we have one uh, no string program here i think uh, yeah string program also there i'll tell that the once we are uh, finishing all the methods then i'll tell so let's move on to the string handling program i'll create a new class uh, string programs demo string programs and i'll create a string methods lot of methods are there one by one each method is a return type method every method is a return type method so what how can you call a return type non static methods what is the formula return type of the method Mm -hmm. first we need to create the object and uh, data type of the method already string okay. is a literal right. you don't need to create object or by default string literal is an object so i'm going to declare like this private static string s equal to java so this is the string object already created so this is the string object mm -hmm. string literal object so now this object how you can already you have object reference now how you can call all the string classes every method is a return type method what is the return type method calling process data type of the method so data type of the method variable name variable name equal to string object reference dot object reference dot constant method name return type method name this is the formula we use this i am going to first method is length method so this method what it does is it fetches the number of characters in the given string so fetches number of characters in 
given string. So what it will do? So what is the return type? Return string. type is integer. So what returns? It returns the it returns integer value. It returns int value. So primitive int data. So data type is int, return type of the method, and uh, count equal to so yes dot. I need to find out in the yes string object how many characters are there. So dot length method. So it will find out. You can print it. Yes. Length is CNT variable. That's the first method. So to find out the string length, what is the method you have to use? Length method. So next. Second one. Carrot method. I already explained this carrot. What it will do? Carrot method. Hmm? Maybe it will return, return the character. So it fetches the index. character at given index. index. So what is the return type? Returns character. Car. So what is the return type of this caret method? Car. Car. So return type of the method c equal to s dot caret of index. So basically, this is a string array, a character array. A string is a character array. So first character is so zero onwards, it will start index. Zero, one, two, three. So total four characters. But the out of this four, first starts with zero. Zero also one character. Okay. So in the zero index, what what character is there? J is there. So one character. What is the value is there? A. So in the two index, what is the character? V is there. So three character. What is the so three index? What is the character we have? A. So like that, you give the index number. So if I give, for example, second index, what is the character I want to find out? So that output, this method is a return a value. So that's why I'm returning, storing here. That's a return type method. That means that is the word I was telling. Return type methods, every method in this, 100% methods, return type methods. No wide method at all in the string class. Why? They are giving a value to you. So store in the variable, use it later wherever you want. So second index character in yes is plus C. So I stored in the C variable. That's I'm printing. So See, V character you got. See, only one character it will fetch. Okay, next. So, two char array. Two char array. So what this method will do? Two char array. It, it converts the characters. It converts the, it converts the string into to character array. So char array. It will convert into character array. So the returns, what is the return type of this method? Array. Character array it returns. Return type of this method is character array. So return type of the method. So ch equal to s dot to char array. So this is the returning a value and storing here. So how you can iterate array? Either you can iterate an array by for each loop. So for each loop we can use for. So what is the for each loop syntax? For 
data type of the array. What is the data type of array? Yes. Array uh, data type is a character. So this is the one, char. So write that character, data type, character, uh -huh. and the variable. So you take any variable, okay? Um, so V I will put and CH, okay? H is my array name. Mm. So you can print it. So V. So V represents the each character in the array. V represents the each character in the array. So I can print it. I am bringing the cursor to next line because the print method will print all the characters one after the other with some space. Each character in between, I'm giving a slash team is a tab. And then I'm bringing the cursor to next line. I can move on. Okay. So that's a two character array method. So that's a third method. Next method. Uh, concat method. So concat method, see it accepts a string uh, str. So basically joins the two, two strings. So it joins the two strings and uh, returns what type of object? String object. So it returns a string object. So the return type is string. So S1 equal to S dot concat. I'm joining selenium. Okay. So the output, what you got? What is the output of S1? Giants. Yes. With selenium keyword. Using concat method. That is S1. So print this S1 value is going to print for you Java Selenium. Java Selenium is printed. So now I want to find out. So S1 I'm going to use now. So next method is to uppercase method. So what this method will, it converts the lowercase characters into uppercase. Converts the lowercase letters into uppercase. So what is the written type? Returns new string. Another string you will get basically. String S2 equal to S1 dot to uppercase. So everything is, so you're converting into uppercase. S1 is not going to change. That's what I told you. Strings are not going to change. Strings are not going to change. Okay. Strings are not going to change. New memory will create for each new string you are creating. So S1, S1, S1 is converted into uppercase using two uppercase, two uppercase method. So that is plus S2. So next method is two lowercase method. Converts the uppercase letters into so lowercase so returns string new string. It returns a new string. So return type of the method. So S3 equal to S2 dot to lowercase because S2 is all uppercase. That I'm converting into lowercase. That I'm storing in a S3 variable. 
OS2 is converted into so lower case using two lower case two lower case method plus s3 see you can see the output let's execute then only will come to know see first one is all cap letters second one is upper case you are converting see this one you are converting into lower case and this smaller one you are converting into upper case using the upper case method so these are the methods every method is created in the string class see how many methods are there in the string class so there are so many still so we have to explore all of them so next method is is empty method is empty method what it will do it, it returns a boolean value basically fix whether given string is empty or not so returns boolean value so what value it returns what is the return type boolean so b equal to s dot is empty is blank is there okay is empty also there see both so it is true if the string is empty or contains only white space so code points are always false okay so that's the is blank is empty means you can see returns true if the only if length is zero so if the string length is zero returns true otherwise returns false so with string length is not empty right s has a four characters so that's why it's not empty so thinking yes is empty or not so b So even e is blank also if you want you can call that also e is blank so this is the latest method i think six uh the string is blank with white spaces so that's it boolean again written the boolean value boolean b1 equal to s dot e is blank that's what the string is empty contains only string uh, the special uh, white spaces so you can call all this right so this kind of methods string object dot if you see all the methods will list out to you you can call one by one and explore all the methods and taking uh, let's Yes, is blank or not? That is plus B one. So the next method is contains method, very important one. Okay, contains method. So basically, contains method. What it will check? So in the so this is the str okay, string str. So you give the string. This is a contains in the given string or not so main string this string is present or not it will fit basically it's going to set in the main string this string is there or not so six whether given string is present in main string or not so written say boolean value so boolean b2 equal to Yes, one dot contains. I'll give yes. So yes, one contains yes or no. Hmm? Yes, one contains yes or no. Yes, one 
एस वन इन एस वन कंटेन एस आर नॉट यूजिंग कंटेन मेथड so s1 contains s or no what is s1 value hmm java selenium mm hmm java selenium what is the s value java so is it there or no yes so i am giving another one for example python so now in the s1 python is there no No. So, then what is the output you will get? Thing false. So false you will get. S one contains Python keyword or not? So using contains. So these are all the methods you need to practice like this because all these methods are useful in the coding. So these methods are very very useful in the coding. If you know these methods, then you can practice in the string programs. You can write any string program. If you don't know these methods, string programs is very difficult. So another, so exception in Threadbin, Andrei is allowed a compilation error. So what is the compilation error? Why it is throwing compilation? Undefined for the type string. So this is not defined. It is saying. So why it is not defined? Is showing right. Okay, not sure why it is not allowing type string. Okay, let's comment out this. We don't want to stop here. Okay, so this is the one. False. Python is not there. Java is there, and uh, is empty method is returning false because it is the value is there. That's why. So that's how you can you know uh, play around with these methods. Now the next method is uh, equals method. So equals method basically here we learn this equals method. So this equals method is available in which class? Object class. So object is the super class for all the Java classes. In that class, this equals method is defined, declared, defined and declared everything. But again, this method is overridden in the string class. So that means you can give example for method overriding also. You can give an example for method overriding this equals method. You are overriding the equals method in the string class. Why we are overriding? I want to compare two strings. So what object class method will do? You can compare any two objects. That behavior is different. This string class equals method behavior is different. This is called method overriding, right? So uh, that's the method overriding. So compares to string content string content it will compare so returns boolean value so boolean b four equal to s1 dot equals that s1 dot equals S three. What is S three value? Comparing S one and S three using equals method. So what is the output you will get? B four. Same you do. Boolean b five equal to s one dot equals s two. S two is all uppercase. 
same thing I am doing. Now what will happen is this. First one you will get a true, but second one you will get a false. Why? Why false? No is upper. So this one is all lower case, but this one is all upper case. Then you are getting a false here. What is the reason? When the characters are same, right? Why are you getting a no false? See that. See the difference. Comparing Java Selena with Java Selena, both S1 and S3, same. That's why we are getting true. But here, Java Selena lower case, but Java Selena uppercase. And equals method is comparing and it is returning it false. Why? Same characters, right? No, it's not same. Lower case is not same, upper case is not same, as I mentioned very clearly to you guys. Right? So both are different. Sir, I, how I can ignore the cases? There is one more method, equals ignore case method is there. If you want to know, ignore the cases and you want to compare. So then we have a method equals ignore case method is there. So this basically uh, ignore the cases, compares two strings, and ignores the cases. returns boolean value. So boolean b6 equal to s1 dot equals ignore case, so that equals ignore case. So basically you have to give string object s2. So now, which returns two for you. So why it is returning two for you? Equals ignore case method. Ignore case method. So returns true. So why it returning true? It ignores the cases and compares the content. So equals method compares the content. So see now it is returning true. Even though this is a lower case and this is the upper case, but you are using the equals ignore this method and that returns true. But equals method is returning false. That's the difference you have to catch here. So any questions here about equals and equals ignore this? So next method is starts with the string str. So, six whether your string is starting with given string or not. So returns boolean value. So returns boolean value. As I so in the previous example also files uh, program I used ends with. Now I'm going to show that also starts with. Whether your string is starting with given value or not, b7 equal to s1 dot starts with, s1 is starting with yes or not? s1 is starting with yes or no? s1 is starting with yes. So the output is B7. So what is the output you will get? Two you will get because S1 is the Java Selenium. Java Selenium starts with Java. That's why you are getting it true. Same thing you do with one more okay Selenium. For example, you are uh, so B8 is uh, S1 starts with the Selenium. For example, if you give Selenium. Okay. S1 is not starting with selenium. Okay. S1 is not starting with selenium. Uh, starting with selenium. So, so then the output is B8. So it returns a false. You can see that. First one returns true because so. Java selenium is starting with Java. That's why true. 
Java Selenium is starting with the Selenium. It's not starting with Selenium is the last one, not starting with Selenium. That's why written is false. So this is the another important and last one for the day. Ends with ends with method. Basically, the ends with method also checks whether the given string is ending with the main string or not. Right? Fix whether main string is ending with given string or not. So returns boolean value. That's what we have seen there. So ends with so boolean. So v9 equal to s1 dot ends with selenium. Okay. Obviously, it is ending with selenium only. So you will get a s1. So s1 ends with selenium keyword. So then output is, so you'll get a true. Then we, S1 is not ending with the Java, right? So that's why you're getting a true here. S1 is not ending with a Java. So ends with method another. So Boolean B10 equal to S1 dot ends with uh, yes. It's written false, okay? So let's finish this and we can close for the day. S1 ends with plus S. Using ends with method. So B10. So false. It's not ending with the Java. Okay. It's in, ending with the Selenium keyword, not with Java. Okay. So these are the methods only. So few methods, one by fourth methods only we finish it. Tomorrow we'll start the other methods. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.